Welcome to Chemical Equilibrium, Lesson 3. Now in Lesson 2, we explained the rice table and did one example. In Lesson 3, we'll just do another example of the rice table. Hydrogen and iodine gas react according to the following expression. So here is your chemical reaction. When 0.496 moles of hydrogen and 0.181 moles of iodine are heated at 450 degrees Celsius in a 1 cubic decimeter container, the equilibrium mixture is found to contain 0.00749 moles of iodine. Now the important things to note here is that this quantity and this quantity is the amount in the beginning of the reaction. So that is your I, your initial quantities. And then um, this amount here is at equilibrium. Then the question, calculate, calculate the equilibrium constant for the reaction at 450 degrees Celsius. So let's draw the table. The first thing to do is R, your reaction. Here is your chemical reaction. H2 plus I2 iodine gives you 2 moles of HI. Your initial quantities is given in the question. 0 0.496 moles of hydrogen, there it is. 0 0.181 moles of iodine, there it is. And in the beginning of the reaction, there will be no products yet. So, the initial quantity of HI is zero. The, and, um, the other given quantity in the question is 0 0.00749 moles of iodine, which is at equilibrium. Okay, now to calculate the equilibrium constant, you need the concentration of your reactants and the concentration of your product at equilibrium. So you need these blue values. Now you can get to the blue values by calculating this value here, which will be expressed in x. So if you look at your stoichiometric values, that, then you'll see that it's 1 to 1, the hydrogen to the iodine. So this, uh, the value in the beginning, minus x, would give you the value at equilibrium. And the same for hydrogen. The value in the beginning, minus x, would give you the amount left at equilibrium. In the beginning, there is no product molecules. So 0 plus 2x would then give you the amount of HI at equilibrium. So now you need to calculate x with this simple mathematical equation. So let's see how that looks. 0 0.181 moles minus x would give you 0 0.00749. So there is your mathematical equation that you need to solve. That gives you that x is 0 0.1735 moles. And now you can complete this part of the table by substituting x. So, hydrogen minus 0 0.1735, iodine minus 0 0.1735, and then the HI would become more with 2 times x, 0 0.1735. And then if you do the math, math then you get to these two values here, 0 0.496, minus 0 0.1735 gives you 0 0.3225. 0 plus 0 0.347 gives you 0 0.347. And now your table is almost complete. Except you don't need moles of the reactants and the product. You need the concentrations. Because to calculate equi the equilibrium constant, you need concentration values. Now you can easily go to concentration by just using the equation C is equal to moles divided by volume. There it is. Concentration 
is equal to moles divided by volume. The volume is given in the question and the moles you get from your table. So let's do the calculation quickly. The concentration of hydrogen is the moles of hydrogen divided by the volume. The moles that you get from the table is 0 0.3225 moles divided by one cubic decimeter that you get from the question. That gives you the concentration of hydrogen 0 0.3225 moles per cubic decimeter. The same for iodine. Moles divided by volume. 0 0.00749 moles divided by one cubic decimeter gives you 0 0.00749 moles per cubic decimeter. The concentration of HI is then the moles of HI divided by volume. 0 0.347 moles divided by one cubic decimeter gives you 0 0.347 moles per cubic decimeter. And now you can add those vo values to your table. There you go. Now, the question said calculate the equilibrium constant. So it's very important to get to that part of the question. Kc for this reaction is then the concentration of Hi because it's the product to the power of 2 because of that stoichiometric value divided by the concentration of the reactants. So it's the concentration of H2 to the power of 1, concentration of I2 to the power of 1. So now you can add your concentration values that we calculated with the rice table. Kc is then 0 0.347 to the power of 2, 0 0.3225 to the power of 1, 0 0.00749 to the power of 1, which give you a Kc of 49.85. Thank you.